We got it. We got it. Uh, what? Catch the Q104 criminal? Yeah. Yeah, this is something now that's very unique. I don't know much about it, but Sam came in with this. And um, it sounds like a really unique radio promotion. Now, I'm not one for regular terrestrial radio. Mm -hmm. I think everything that uh, is, is going to be done has been done, whatever. And they tend to rehash things over and over again. This just sounds like a great original idea. Yeah. What? Uh, what's the gist of this? So, well, you're, so you're saying this hasn't been done before? I haven't heard it. All right. Somebody on Twitter tipped me off to this, that in Cleveland on Q104, uh, the plan was to give away tickets to see Lady Gaga, but as a testament to how popular she is, somebody stole the tickets. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my God. God. No way. Yes. <laughs> Before they could give the tickets away, they went to wait, get wait, them. Wait. This sounds this sounds kind of familiar, huh? No, no, you sure? It, 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 this has never been done before. It's called deja vu, Opie. I'm, I'm having yeah, a little deja, deja vu, vu where it's, it seems like the exact same thing was <laughs> happening, but it's just a feeling, right? Yeah. So what had they went to get the tickets to give away that morning, and the prize box is empty, and when you went, they were gone. <laughs> The sure. insurance company buys your brother a new car. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the prize box? Uh, I believe it was probably in the promotions office. Oh. And somebody must have snuck in. So they don't do a list. They actually don't have a list that they put your name on. They actually keep the hard tickets yeah. there yeah, 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 yeah. as opposed to will call. Right. Yeah. In a box. So what does so this mean? So now they're looking for a few, uh, a criminal. A criminal. A that, criminal. Um, yeah, a I, yeah, a criminal. A Q criminal. A Q criminal who, uh, luckily uh. for the station and for the listeners, the criminal started calling the various shows on <laughs> Q104 <laughs> to give hints Look about here. who they were Look and here. where they would be. I know Ed's trying to do a bit, but come on. Lock, I mean, we, we lock, can't even lock, fucking... Lock. We did this bit already. Are you <laughs> shitting me? Our old station did this. Regular radio. 92.3 Fugitive, right? This is the <laughs> second... The third. No, this is third. Third. Yeah, they, third one. There was some asshole comes up with a really average bit, and then the rest of radio just does it in uh, every single market across uh, uh, the country. Dude, this literally terrible. This contest ended a matter of days ago. It's not like I found a two-year-old thing. Sure. This just happened. So, um, so, and the so, only way to get the tickets, according to the criminal, yeah. is for somebody to approach the criminal and say, hey, <laughs> who's buying oh, this boy, shit? Are you the Q104 criminal? They don't even put their own little spin. Do they go into a room and maybe go, here's the basic idea. <laughs> Let's change it around a little bit. They just follow the script, don't they? Th did this station uh, hold a press conference like that other one? I didn't remember the oh, press, conference. The yes. press conference. With the guys that look like salespeople. With the sales staff and interns. <laughs> like there was WWE there was, uh, fucking... Uh, there was no conference. mics. It was obviously just... Wow. <laughs> recorded wow. at the station. But, um, wow. but it's a criminal. It's not like a fugitive. It's not a fugitive. It's a criminal. It's a it, yeah. All right, so they oh, they're, okay. They're so doing they, their own spin. They did uh, change it then. Uh, yeah, that radio is full of fucking thieves. Hacks. Well, th Hacks. This and, is, uh, and by the way, this isn't even thievery. This goes deeper. <clears throat> it's a consultant that comes up with a bit, it, it, then they copyright it, and then they kind of sell it to they sell it to individual the station. stations across America. <clears throat> this morning show uh, and this station has indeed been featured on, on previous Jocktobers. Jocktober? Yes. Wow, they really are not busting apart any stereotypes. Now. Wild and Fee. What? That's the morning show. Wha Wake up with Wild and Fee. What's wild about them? Well, you see, you'd think, <laughs> oh, that oh, they no. were wild, but it's W I L D. E. E. Well, that that it's shows that you're really name. no. That shows that you're really wild. Right. Well, you could look at the picture. Was there a Liz Wild? Yeah, yeah. She wasn't that wild. No. No, they're probably not as wild as these. Well, for instance, there's criminals on the loose. That's that a wild, wild. That's a wild yeah, thing. That's the criminal. All right, let's get into some audio. Uh, Corey, the nighttime jock, explains the Q104 criminal. Uh, and I can't believe Wild and Fee think uh, he did it. Uh, yeah. Uh, wild and Fee accused him on their morning show. So oh, how dare the they? The whole station's involved with this Fucking dog shit. <laughs> Wouldn't you just turn around and go, no, I'm not playing. How does anybody not have satellite radio? Yeah. <laughs> How do you listen to this fucking garbage? Commercial radio is fucking 
garbage. Shit. Love how Jimmy gets angry. Dude, it makes me so. As a creative person, I'm not saying I haven't stepped on ideas, but these thieving pieces of shit in radio. Holy fucking sh uh, It's all commercials and fucking shit. Well, let's uh, get into it. Corey, uh, the nighttime jock. Q104, you know, this morning uh, we were going to give away Lady Gaga tickets with Wild and Fee at 710. They went to give them away. The music. Couldn't find the tickets. They have been stolen. Now this uh, person claiming to be the Q criminal has called up and has been taunting them all day, but we still have no idea who, th who the Q criminal is. When you just go go uh, fuck yourself, <laughs> I'm not playing along. Here, here's what we got, guys. And, and you know what, Ant and I, we were they wanted to drag us into some horseshit fucking uh, promotion they were doing at NEW. Guess what? We said go fuck yourselves, yep. and we made fun of the whole thing, and the whole staff hated us. We started taking the songs off halfway through and throwing the discs at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. That's, well, that's before the fans started really recording our show. God, yeah, I would yeah. love to hear that stuff. That was very I, I, early on. I remember we used to play baseball with the CDs instead of playing <laughs> play them and stuff. Yeah, yeah, the uh, largest rock and roll library. Right, it was huge. And um, oh my god, and the rest of the staff because they took it so seriously. What was it? The evolution. It was the, of the evolution rock? of the rock, rock of, of New, New York. York, and they uh. pretty much played like all the music that had been played through. And we had to play like John Mellencamp, <laughs> the, like the, Pink well, Houses or something. Like we're not we finally playing this. We finally completely lost it on. Uh, if you think I'm sexy, uh, Rod Stewart. Yeah. You do, if you want my body and, and you think I'm sexy. <laughs> oh, uh, Tippy oh, Tom's version was great. Rest in peace. But Rest uh, in peace. yes, R.I.P. Uh, yeah, and that that one came out. And got smashed against the wall, and then we decided, <laughs> why would we even play any of this? So smashed them all. Then the boss came in. What are you doing? We're like, we're not doing this. It was a whole thing. We looked and said, you know what? I I'm think amazed we're a we talk show fired. now. Yeah, we decided. <laughs> went, I think we're just a talk show. You know what? Yeah. We decided. Not sure, but I think we are. Yeah. No one told us to start being a talk show that no. day. We said, you know what? I think we're going to be a talk show for now. Yeah, on. we're going to be a talk show. We we're still playing music th at that point. <laughs> Don't you guys think that sometimes it's important to be a team player, though? Well. With something like this to catch a criminal. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, that's that is, the yes. difference. That, yes. All right, let's okay. Get back okay. To this. Cool. Yes. Cool. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Who who the Q criminal is? We don't know. Uh, you can find clues at uh, at Q104.com. But I mean, <laughs> right now, <laughs> why wouldn't they involve the police? Why would the fucking criminal be leaving cl clues at Q104? You fucking cunt. He's a thief, but he went to our website and got the password and left clues. I have no dignity. You wanted to be a radio guy? This is what you wanted to do with your life, you fucking asshole? It's called multi-marketing. Holy uh, fucking shit. Multi-marketing is in place here. <laughs> uh, How is there not one ounce involve, of dignity on these jocks? Do they involve Twitter? None. Let's say hi to Footer. Footer! Yo, what's up, boys? Hey, yeah, I know it's, kind of, it's fucking wild. This is kind of crazy, but um, why don't they just get two more fucking tickets? Yeah, Sam. <laughs> well, Lady Gaga is a hot ticket right now. They're probably all sold out. Uh, so I how think about you cut your losses and you get two more stupid tickets? And the last thing they want to do is let a criminal get away with a crime. Well, it is the principle of it, I guess. Uh, I think you're right, Ant. Yuck. I mean, right now, it's just very sketchy. We don't even know who this person is. Well, you know what? Rebecca Wilde accused you of stealing them. She said, because you always complain you don't have no money. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Wow. See what happens when... When you just go, well, Rebecca's a cunt. <laughs> yeah. No. She's, She's done with it. She got blow me! <laughs> blow me! <laughs> who is this dumb woman? Ugh. How involved is this woman? Like uh, Rebecca said. <laughs> well, Why don't you mind your fucking business, <laughs> rat? <laughs> rat. <laughs> that's an insider. Of course. Yeah, yeah that's like yeah. the promotion of girl or something. Oh, think it was just a, fan. a fan of all the, of the station who listens to the morning show and a nighttime show? Uh, no. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. Sam, no. Yeah, well. You better go back and uh, get some more radio education from Scorch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I go to Dominic in Jersey? Dominic. Dominic. Hey, guys. Hey. I heard Opie talking about uh, doing the old stuff the other day. I was listening to uh, a YouTube of uh, Opie arguing with Carol Miller smashing CDs against the wall. I was laughing my ass off. All the uh, Carol Miller uh, arguments. The Carol Miller uh, 
tapes are just classic. legendary. <laughs> they really are. Jesus. If someone could give me a link to that YouTube video or Sam or somebody, I'll tweet it today so you can check it out. <laughs> Poor woman. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I know we've told this story a million times, but my favorite part of the story, and she works here at Sirius XM. I haven't bumped into her in many years. I hear her uh, on Classic Rewind, I think it is, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I have no problem with her anymore. I mean, this is like 10 years ago. But my favorite part from back then was it got to the point she wasn't allowed to see us in the hallway. Yeah, yeah. And that wasn't our doing, by the way. We never played that, that horse the program shit. program All the radio guys have played that horse shit. Uh, but they made her hang out in the mail room, which was a tiny little fucking closet. <laughs> yeah, where the cubbies until, were for the mail. Until we passed by. She she was allowed to see us pass by, meaning we were going back to our office. Then that was her uh, cue that she was allowed to go into the studio to start her show. And me and Aunt were such fucking dicks that we would hang out to the last possible second before we passed by the mail room. <laughs> giving her no worst. time to set up <laughs> for her show. <laughs> <laughs> How awful. <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> I swear to God. Wow. See what happens when I sleep through the morning show? Right. Okay, I did a little searching and I found the audio. Listen, <laughs> listen to what Rebecca said about It's quick. <laughs> How did he find it so quickly? She's there on the phone with I you. I did a little searching and I found the audio. <laughs> oh, yeah. How? The computer system. What's searching? We're, li we're listening to you listen. Yeah. To this sinus lady. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's like Mike Francesa called her show. <laughs> twat. Chris from uh, the Poconos has the the best way to, to catch the Q104 criminal. Listen oh. to this. Chris, go ahead. Hey, guys. Uh, the best thing that he, they could do is just go to the concert and find them in the seats. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hey, why don't they do that? Why don't they do that? Make play well, like, oh, all well, right. those tickets are gone, and then they give away well, two more Lady Gaga tickets, but then, night of the show, the authorities are at the venue to catch the criminal. Them. What if the person that stole them, the criminal, sold them? Because huh? you know how criminals are. Yeah. Black market businesses. Oh, I thought you were just going to stop. Oh, I know I know what you thought. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I... I... The audio. Listen, listen to what Rebecca said about me this morning. I know he's sleeping, which is why I'm going to say exactly. this. But the first person that came to mind was Corey. Mm -hmm. You think Corey he's, took oh, the Corey? tickets? Hey, you, you said it yourself. He always talks about how broke he is. <laughs> he's not going to be paying $400 for two tickets. I got to tell you, I thought me and Rebecca were homies. I'm a little hurt. I, I, that's just that's just wrong. That's what she said. That's just wrong. <laughs> the wrong. acting is great you know, yeah. after, because they have to act after yeah. hearing this audio wow. I, I hate to say this Cleveland but you don't deserve LeBron James oh that's why he good, left good luck in Miami <laughs> LeBron. he doesn't laugh because of this show exactly he's actually the feet. criminal <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if he actually <laughs> sold the tickets <laughs> and brought him to Miami <laughs> LeBron you made the right decision of course you did <laughs> Fucking oh, no. oh. 15 degrees in fucking June in Cleveland <laughs> and fucking and nothing but tits fucking jiggling all over fucking Miami. Gee, why would he January. leave? In the of why would he go to Miami to be on the beach instead of in Cleveland by the fucking mall with the thugs outside of it? <laughs> you can't even go in the mall. Uh, LeBron will have the key to the... He doesn't need the key to the city. He's LeBron James. Just give them money and they'll give you whatever you want. Exactly. Yeah, why would you want to go to Miami? All those chicks partying every night, <laughs> sucking your dick on the boardwalk. Are you yeah, sure? crazy. Crazy. Are you saying Lake Erie's not the same as South Beach? Dude, I love Cleveland. Cleveland has nothing but fat pussies in it, for real. I love Cleveland chicks. <laughs> for real. But if you're in Cleveland, you can't wonder why he left to go to Miami. Yeah. Compared to Miami? You gotta know. Well, I want to listen to this guy's voice. So oh, oh, he's oh, terrible. Oh, terrible. Oh, oh. What do you think, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Don Knotts. This guy is starring in Hot Lead and Cold Feet. <laughs> this guy's a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> These radio guys are a bunch of losers. Yeah, Dude, they really we were, are. You, you got to. homies. Huh? You got to know when to step out, man. Not Just step Corey. out of the bit and and make a name for yourself. That's what we did. They're when you know it's, when it. you know it's horseshit, you go, you go with it and say this is fucking horseshit. They know this works. I, I, that's just that's just wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> I didn't think people were going to start resulting to mudslinging over this. Resulting. I'm going to have to like wake up resorting. and listen to their show one of these mornings, huh? Uh huh. But then they might just put me back to sleep, right? <laughs> <laughs> A little, uh, yeah, That's back and yeah. forth going on there. Took a shot at me. I'll take one right back. You think he called him up later on? 
Look, I was just doing a thing, a, a <laughs> bit thing about that. I love your show, and you know that. No, we're pals. Okay, yeah. I love when you do Battle of the Sexes. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry what I said on your uh, show today. Portion of the program that you guys do. Who is a criminal? Anyway, <laughs> by the way, is this fake? <laughs> Oh. Well, he's not sure if it's yeah, real. He's not even <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Well, fucking loser. Wow, this is so. Well, bad. Anthony, very good news. The criminals' difficult clues begin. They're yeah. real difficult. Yeah, they're tough to figure out exactly what the criminal is getting at. <laughs> ah. They really spent some time on the writing and uh, trying right. to make the people think. All right. right. Yeah. Wait. For a master criminal, I am. <laughs> the oh, same no. oh no! Come on! That sounds exactly the like the ninety-two voice. three fugitive. Wait. I am the fugitive. <laughs> sounds like the two hundred two fugitive. <laughs> yes. Who is that lady's voice? Who is this criminal? I don't know. We don't know, but we it's, don't know. The, it's the Q criminal. Same goddamn effect they put Wait, on. Wait, it might be the same exact. Person. Oh, you're thinking maybe they just do yes. the criminal. They have yes. the uh, tape. Yes, because some, I'm telling you, a company gets together and they go, wow, we have a great bit. And then they sell it to the, these uh, radio stations or these radio companies. So I'm the <laughs> I'm the <laughs> yeah, it sounds like the same lady. Because they make yeah, it all <laughs> Fucking Bobo. They make it easy for you. You're the guy to the ticket. I am. <laughs> yeah, what was Bobo's version of it? It was real bad, wasn't it? There was two. He did the I am. Yeah. And then your and version. Then <laughs> and then he interrupted himself and spoke in his normal voice and said, sorry <laughs> yeah. about your dog. <laughs> I hope what the listeners asshole. appreciate that bit. That was one of the funniest bits he's ever I was ever just done. watching uh, the YouTube video of when he thought he was getting arrested because yeah. there actually was $10,000 missing. <laughs> <laughs> What, do you have a sample of him doing The Fugitive? All right, let's listen. Hi, who's this? This is the 202 Fugitive. <laughs> I'm sending the person. A person you very know is on the way. He will be delivering food, and uh, he will be also handing you messages for Ira to eat uh, Eat on his food. Who is this? This is driving Come me on, nuts. Who, is, who is, this? is this? Tell us who you are. Wow. I will just have to give you a hint. Of who I am. <laughs> I grew up in Woodside. You're lying. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> what an asshole. Ah, uh, that was a little yeah. sample of when, uh, when the. Uh, well. <laughs> Anthony. They were doing that over at our old station. The criminal's difficult uh, clues begin. Right. For a master criminal, I am quite unassuming. At the grocery store, I buy cherries for snack time consuming. I spend lots of time in the urban sprawl. But if you ask people from the birds, you might get it all. <laughs> so if you go to the supermarket... In the suburbs, and somebody's buying cherries. Cherries, yeah. That's the criminal. Ask him. She buys cherries in the supermarket. Hey, <laughs> so, hey. So, why don't they just play a Lady Gaga song? I wish Instead. they would. She's got so many good ones. Play Teeth. Or, oh. or I'd say uh, I'd, I'd vote for Speechless, but Speechless. I would too. Not a fighting over. <laughs> yeah, we want the better Bobo <laughs> clip where he breaks character. Absolutely. Right, Going back to it. how Bobo played this role. Fugitive. Can Can I ask you? Um, what what borough of New York do you live in now? No, I live in Queens. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's happening, fugitive? Yeah, what happened, fugitive? No, 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 nothing, nothing. I actually, the dog had just walked a little bit too. too the dog walked a little bit. Too. <laughs> 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 what an idiot. <laughs> that, that was what an idiot. <laughs> if you wrote that, it wouldn't be that funny. He honestly <laughs> fucked that up. Nothing uh, 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 dog with uh, 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 dog right? <laughs> uh, It took him like a full ten seconds to realize he was out of character. He's out of character. All right, the uh, the cunning criminal returns. Uh. How is the weather? Hot enough for you? If you go to Arby's for lunch, ask someone in blue. Brown hair is a bonus, 
don't pass up that tip. Go to see Gaga. That would be quite a trip. So you got to go to Arby's. Arby's and look for someone in blue so, with brown hair so, yes. and say, you're the criminal. So they're involving right. their sponsors. You think? What do you think? Arby's is a spot? I thought it was just that's where she's going to go. <laughs> I hate my sponsors. <laughs> you do. <dear. laughs> we could, I could see the meeting though that I they don't, had. I don't We're gonna hate them, but we should be separate. We're gonna involve uh, the sales. Sales is involved in this, so <laughs> we're gonna have the the criminal, and we're gonna have different locations that will uh, get us some revenue. Because revenue is fun. <laughs> it's a win for everyone. Oh, shut the fuck up. You think they said that in a meeting? It's of a course. win for everyone. <laughs> it's a win-win situation here. <laughs> it's a win for the company and a dismal loss for anybody with ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's a win for, the, it's a win for their pocketbooks. <laughs> Wild and Fee get a call from the Q criminal on the morning show. So now we go oh, back boy. to the morning show. Well, now we're, we're actually including everybody, all the, all the key day parts. Right. <laughs> this is actually audio from the Wild and Fee show. Ooh. Wow. I'm only going to break your heart. That's Teo Cruz. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. The Q criminal is on the phone again. <laughs> How does oh, my he know? gosh. Why hasn't anyone found this person hold yet? On, hold on. Oh, my God. Why hasn't anyone found this person yet? How do they know? Mm -hmm. That he's on the phone. Did he go through the screener? Must have gone through that. And, and explains why the, it. Why would the criminal stay on the line so long? Like, like to through wait the through song, the song? Waiting through uh, the song. And why didn't they stop the song and just, like, yeah, why that is pretty important. If you oh, have to goodness. go with the bit because they would probably fire you, why don't you make it your own and go, yeah, oh, fuck, and, and interrupt shit? Well, that's not the Why do you have to follow a format clock? Well, the thing about it is... Well, even... at 710, we're going to take the phone call from the Q criminal. <laughs> The last thing you want to do is upset people, and let's be honest, it still is about the music. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Can we hear this guy coming back? Oh, oh, I, wish, oh, oh, I wish it was N104, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and it could have been the N criminal. Listen to this asshole. <laughs> 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 Humiliate himself. <laughs> I'm only gonna break your heart. That's Teo Cruz. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. The Q the criminal is on the phone again. Oh my gosh! Why hasn't anyone found this person yet? Well, How long we have you been doing a show gun. with Marge Simpson? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cunt! Shut up! Oh my, oh my god! I have a pussy. That's why I'm in this scene. <laughs> <laughs> of all the dramatic phone calls, and George is lying in a pine box. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're so right. <laughs> She's there to balance it out, everyone. Yeah, all right, well, I don't will. want the guys getting out of control. Why and the guy actually man? goes, oh, boy. Oh, criminal's oh on boy. The phone. <laughs> I don't know how to handle him. Uh, before uh, I say the criminal's on the phone, I should back sell the song. And uh, tell you, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> oh, I have nothing Stinks. better to say with this voice of mine. Uh, D boy. A fucking fire should break out in the entrance of the station. <laughs> How great would that be? Like the Happy Land Disco in the Bronx. <laughs> uh, you real local. Love it. That local radio rules, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 criminal, uh, uh, local, uh, local uh, clues for everyone. Oh, boy. Uh, well, we got these God God tickets here. Criminal, are you there? I'm here. And so are a lot of your listeners. I'm sorry I'm late. I returned to the place of my original first clue mm. just for the yeah, You're in the promotions and office? <laughs> <laughs> Same with our dickhead station manager, <laughs> who's as big a flop in this business as I am. <laughs> Where did you come up with this idea? <laughs> oh, God damn. I never heard the overnight. I, I didn't think anything could be more awful than the overnight guy. Overnight guy. I stand corrected. Yeah. This mm. guy is more awful. This is really bad. I think that's Clue. wild. Mm. Just oh. for nostalgia. And it was crawling with people. Really? Good one. All weekend. Good one. I was on the run. Good contribution. <laughs> Fucking tits with a head. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Her fucking awful witch voice. Really? <laughs> really? Yes, don't throw water on me or I'll melt. <laughs> fucking cunt. She sounds like Paul Lind. 
Oh, really? Oh, really? I'd love to fucking plant azaleas in her twat with my foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to put azalea seeds on my shoe and kick them into her pussy until they grow. <laughs> Have some azaleas in your cunt, stupid. <laughs> Why azaleas? No reason. Okay. Just because they would take a lot of love and care. <laughs> really? 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 <laughs> All weekend, I was on the run. I was in sneakers, high heels. I have none. I play great poker. Don't wear a hat, and what else? If you look for my dad, he'd be teaching martial arts. To ah. protect oneself. <laughs> Time to go to Google. Better go to the back of F.H. Riley's and does see a car that's shaking. <laughs> what does that mean? People were Let's talking the music about started. the Q criminal all weekend. <laughs> no, they weren't. You need to make a trip to Q104.com to figure all this out. Gaga's coming. We've got to find the tickets. How embarrassing. Oh, God. I'm... That's humiliating. When he got into the business, I'm sure he wanted to be like the next Howard Stern or somebody. And instead he's stuck in fucking Cleveland with a hack radio bit. That's humiliating. Doing one of the greatest uh, radio bits ever. No one's talking about it. Gaga's coming. We gotta find those tickets. Gotta find those tickets. Let me hit the post here. For a lousy pair of... How about you just take the eighth caller? (laughs) Talk about something that's relevant. But why, why do they have to talk... I mean, the voice is... What the fuck what is, is that? that? Well, Gaga's coming. We're going to have to find those tickets. Find those tickets. Yeah, because she's going to notice that two tickets are missing. Gaga? Yeah. Gaga. They're, maybe they're taped Gaga. around her clit. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Rat from Atlanta. He's got it. They should do the uh, Q serial rapist. <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah, take the criminal one step further. Yeah. Look, if you want people talking in your market, <laughs> the, yes. <laughs> fuck the Q one hundred and four criminal, the Q one hundred and four serial rapist. <laughs> wild and fish. Yeah, wild and fish. Yo, you got us here. I, I was wild and raped last night by the Q rapist. Oh, what did they say? You look like a fucking bitch on heat. And if you get raped by a pack of niggers, it'll be your fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's the clue for the day. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the Q104, the Q rapist, you can see he's the Q rapist because he has a fake cast with Q, the, with the station logo on it, and he bashes you in the head and <laughs> rapes you in his brown Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> you need help with that couch? Would you? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It puts the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. Wait a minute. Was he a great big fat person? <laughs> <laughs> Let me say hi to Allison in New Jersey. <laughs> Allison. Hey. Hey, what's up? What's up? I um I came into the middle of this conversation and I could have sworn you were talking about something that's going on in your own uh, city. I got an email yesterday um, stating that Matt Tinfield is in jail! Exclamation point. Apparently suspicious of the sudden appearance of thousands of dollars tied to the RXP Win Matt's Money on Air campaign. Authorities detained Matt Tinfield and employed. Um, Basically, that guy from uh, uh, Law and Order. Oh, Vincent D'Onofrio. And, um, and D'Onofrio. And they're going quest- to question him. So, uh, oh my all God. Sorts of- oh, yeah. There's all sorts of videos. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> I, I'm, I got the chill. Wouldn't this have, like, made the news or right. something? So he's yeah. in jail, and what? We got to get him out of jail? You got to get him out of jail? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I couldn't watch the videos. They're painful. Look, I, I'm wow. Done. I'm just about done. I, I gotta be you honest can, with everybody. I can't do this. Wow. Anymore. Too dangerous? I can't, I, I can't be part of this horse shit anymore. <laughs> Too many criminals. <laughs> this horse shit. It's embarrassing. This is why oh this my is God. why radio guys are never taken seriously because of fucking assholes like Matt Pinfield doing hack bits. It's a private pile. <laughs> is this what is this the actual uh yeah. could, could you hold on, Allison, hold on. Sure. Could you start over, Danny? I'm sorry. I wanna ask you something. He's being questioned. You are my Sorry. Matt Pinfield and Vincent D'Onofrio. D'Onofrio. Dramatic reading. Matt Pinfield. It's 
good to see you. Uh, so that we see you here. I want to ask you something. <laughs> you are my is it exciting house. to work on the uh, radio? Yeah, it's, I dream about doing that ever since I was a kid, so it's exciting. But yes. Private Pile's so not a real cop or anything. Right? No. So an actor. Yeah, yeah. So you are desensitized at times. Matt Penfield's yeah. bizarre. Yeah. I like that. Really do you? Yeah, I do. But he's bizarre. Oh, I care about people. He's acting. But he's doing the same hacky God, shit that we're making fun of Cleveland for, yes. Jimmy. But I like that. I don't like Cleveland. Then he, shouldn't, <laughs> he shouldn't be fucking doing this then, man. He doesn't have to do this shit. If he's talented. Maybe. Is, 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 I, I would do this just to do a scene with Vincent D'Onofrio. Well, M Matt should recreate one yeah, famous yeah. scene. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It takes place in a bathroom. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the Cleveland thing. He's got an old private pile. Oh, my, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that movie's fucking... Yes, I know. Why aren't it. you stopping private piles? Hair dye out. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, he's 78. <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> Hell. God almighty. Oh Are shoals and souls allowed in the barracks? How old is this fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because you're too old. <laughs> because your bones are too brittle. <laughs> They're paying for it. Put in your dentures and eat it. <laughs> Social Security's paying for it. You eat it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Congratulations, retirement home. You made it. That's <laughs> it's more hack. Oh, oh more hack shit. Jesus he looks. He doesn't get a pass, Jimmy. I'm sorry. He shouldn't be doing this really? shit. I I am loving how fucking old. He has a few years yeah. under his belt now. Vincent D'Onofrio looks. What happened? Right, let's go back to the Q104 criminal. So now we're up to the point where, for some unexplainable reason, the criminal decides to call Wild and Fee again. Yeah. Glitter in the air. I love that song. That is pink. Oh, one of my favorites. All right, 923. The Q criminal is on the phone with yet oh. another clue. I guess I guess we're getting close. Isn't that right, criminal? I'm back. <laughs> Why haven't really they found you I'd yet? Caught by now. Oh. Maybe I'll just take the tickets and flee town. Here's something physical. By the way, that's how poor Cleveland is. All the markets do this for real money, right? Yeah. They're doing it for a lousy pair of All fucking right, yeah, tickets. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, the ten thousand dollars or something like, like that. Like the criminal is threatening to leave town with the tickets. Yeah. Even yeah. In, a, in a in a in imaginary world, who gives a shit? That could be worth like three hundred fifty bucks if they're good tickets. And flee town. Here's something physical that could help, if I may be so bold. Today, and today only, a bottle of Sobe. I will hold. Gotta run. Click. Wow. Ah, interesting. Oh. Leave town and Sobe. Hmm. You wanna board? Oh. Is that another sponsor? Another sponsor. Sobe. By the way, their Twitter is WQAL. That uh -oh. would really suck if people started Twittering WQAL right now. Maybe other people have theories on who the criminal is. Yeah. 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 Maybe you could give your theories on uh, on who the criminal is, how great their bid is. Yeah. You know. Yuck. Serious tweets only, please. Me. Uh, I don't even want to do the rest of this fucking horseshit bit. Why? Two clips to go in. And Suspenseful. Station gets desperate as the clue is simply everywhere that the criminal will be over the weekend. A nice summer weekend. Oh, where will I be? A concert tonight, Huntington Beach tomorrow, and the tall ships on Sunday, and the tickets could be free. So he's pretty much saying where he's going to be. Right, that's not even like a riddle or a... So that wasn't a clue. It's like, hey. So for the people that, were li that like games... Yeah. It doesn't matter anymore. Like they said, where will I be? And All then the people answered. that really sat sat there and figured out the clues. Right. Now you just, just go to those places. Now you just go and fucking tap on some asshole's shoulder that's wearing a, exactly. a uh, WQAL t-shirt, I'm sure. That's it. Because they get to the point where they've been doing the promotion for two weeks and the promotion's running out, so... Well, here's, here's the end of the bit. The criminal is found. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news on Q104. Hello. We have been caught. 
You have? Yes. Do you want to talk to um, our winner? Yes. We definitely want to talk to okay. the winner. Hi. Hey, who's this? Uh, Jim Weaver. Jim. Now, are you willing to tell everybody where you found this cute criminal? Where are you guys at right now? Are you willing? <laughs> no. And you hear, there may be evidence. <clears throat> and you hear how excited Jim Weaver is? He, he Why won aren't the, the contest. police there? He won the contest and he can't even get the excitement up. Why aren't the police there to arrest this uh, I guess Jim Weaver was a better investigator. Mm. To cops. tell everybody where you found this cute criminal. Where are you guys at right now? Oh, we're here at Crocker Park. Okay. Um, at the chess set uh, right here in front of the key private bank. Oh, the chess set. Another game is played out in black and white. Royalty is the match if you get this right. That was the last clue. Yes. Now, are you a person that's been following? Following along this whole time? Actually, I have to give credit to my wife. She's the one that figured it out. <laughs> nice job. And what's her name? Uh, Lori. Are you Cunt. excited? Or are you both yeah. go Lacey. <laughs> 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 Andrea. <laughs> what happened? Well, she was making a mess of the tub. And she went one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I thought she was doing a Tootsie Roll commercial. She was just drowning our offspring. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> nice job. And what's her name? Uh, Lori. Are you excited? Well, Are you both going to go together to Lady Gaga? Actually, I'm a hero to my wife and my daughter. He was a huge Lady Gaga fan. <laughs> this is the best husband slash daddy duty maybe ever. So you got to Crocker Park, and what did you see? You know, they, they were really good. It looked like a family just hanging out, and I thought, this lady's going to pepper spray me. <laughs> and, uh... Did that really merit that type of laughter? No. What would have been funny if he said, you know... I thought it was her, so I accidentally started raping the wrong woman. <laughs> <laughs> that would be deserved a big laugh. <laughs> if he did get pepper sprayed. Matches her in the teeth. Yeah. Like, I thought she was the cute criminal, so I started raping a jogger with a stick. <laughs> I had a bicycle pump, and I was, I was, I raped a jogger's ass in the park. Turns out it wasn't her. So I ruined her life for nothing. <laughs> that would deserve a big guff off. <laughs> <laughs> a guff off. Yes, that would get a laugh. Oh, the CD. Yeah. That did not deserve the laugh. No. At all. <laughs> Pepper spray. The business we're in sucks. It really does. Not satellite radio. We got our new iPhone app updated. Well, that's good. Hey, that updated? is true. It's updated. I would love to have an account, though. I got one. Me too. I don't. You should get one. Do you know I pay for five <laughs> fucking accounts? Oh. Well, that's dumb. I pay for five... <laughs> But that's Serious just dumb. XM accounts. Uh, is it? Yes, I don't pay for shit. How about I uh, would have not had satellite radio if I didn't pay? You've had your whole fucking life <laughs> to get free accounts. <laughs> what good's one more free one going to do you now? <laughs> you want me to try to find sucks. you a login today? Yeah, tell the fucking guys down the hall. Tell them, give me a motherfucking account for this. And then any account with my name on it, wipe it clean. <laughs> <laughs> that's that one they could do. That that's just silly. Ant. I want that's the your app. Fault. Now I can multitask. We'll get you a login. I was twittering and listening to Sirius XM same time on my phone. How excited are the guys down the hall that they have something to do today for the channel? <laughs> <laughs> They're yeah. so excited. Oh, that's get me free <laughs> accounts. <laughs> that's condescending when you say it like that. Get me my free account. <laughs> They're very excited. They just sprung up like, holy shit, I get to do something today for the channel. Yeah, see, that's the case I got, Jimmy. <laughs> what? You got oh. that iPad case? Is that the uh, in case? Yes, the yes, in case. Yes, I do have that one. It's big. It's a big case. Yes. Most leather. Why do you need the in case? It's so good. you could stand it up. You could stand it up, and it's, mm. not, it's heavily padded. I, I really do like my stupid iPad. I, I haven't used my shit much. out of it, but I use it. It's laying. It's laying around all the time. And you can just grab it, take it in the shitter with you. It's just fucking boo boo. You're playing games. You're shitting. Dead. It's a shit. Hey, uh, 